Detroit. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Woo. Appreciate you for being here. How are you? Hopefully you're all doing well. I'm doing well. I got to check up on the YouTube action. So give me a second. Odds are it's uh, set up for gaming and not for art. Today, I think what I'm going to do is uh, bring in the land and start with some land colors, some yellows, some tans, um, you know, something you would see from satellite distance, I guess. HBD, welcome. Appreciate you. Okay, I got a new setup for my microphone. I actually set up the whole room here differently. It is fantastic. Let me tell you what. I guess the saying is, i tell you what. But anyway, we're going to start with some land colors and pull them into all the greens. And we'll see what kind of structure we make here today. You guys ready? Have you had a good day? major mess it's been too long since I even scraped this clean both sides uh, what I'm gonna probably do today is just flip it over and use this side we'll get it really thick on there and then uh, someday we'll deal with it yeah let me get some fresh water All right, here we go. One thing I don't like here, I gotta fix. I just needed a loose microphone, you know what I mean? It can't be tied down, bro. So how are we all doing anyway? What's what's the news? What's hanging? How we doing? How we chilling? How we being? Just closing out windows I don't need on here. We need the speech chat. And now we need to set up my palette with some 
groovy color. So I'm thinking actual cadmium yellow. So. I'm using that cadmium because it has a lot of good kind of uh it has orange yes but it also tinges on the on the green side of hue so i like that and i'm bringing in of course some yellow okra and we are going to need i guess we can use the burnt sienna what do i have in these old liquitex bottles what's this Yellow oxide. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try this five year old paint. Yeah, it squeezes out the tube and everything. Way to act, paint. All right. So there we go. That yellow oxide is very close to the uh, yellow okra could be just a different company's version um, close but yeah pretty much dead on I'm mixing both the colors together to see what's up so I'm gonna need some white on here because we got to brighten up the color as we bring it to the canvas yeah So happy Thursday to everybody. Thursday is my trash day around here, and I woke up on time. And luckily, every day, my trash man, he hangs out on the house before uh, he gets to the downtown area. So he just, I don't know if he's catching up time or whatever he's doing, but it's perfect because this morning I'm waking up, and I'm listening, and I'm, I'm trying to put together, like, there's no way it's Thursday, and certainly I was open yesterday. It's just that I didn't stream on Wednesdays, so yeah, it threw me off. Anyway, uh, woke up just in time to run outside and deliver my trash to him and my neighbor's trashes. They kind of rely on me to do that every week. So... I think I'm ready. What do you guys think? Are you feeling ready? Okay, so my neighbor has inspired me to get my radio together. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to find a real good color. And right now, what I'm doing here, I'll even show you, is I'm just looking on the palette uh, what kind of colors they kind of combine. And I'll find the one I'm looking for that's the most, that's going to be like banging. And then I'll work through and around it. And I think I just found it. It's a little yellowy. It's going to be shocking. <sighs> Should I do that right away? I don't think I should be quite honest with you folks we're gonna come in real light right seems like the better option safety first then teamwork I'm going to start down here in the bottom. There's actually some brown on the canvas.
Yesterday we were to play some frisbee golf, and it was so windy up here yesterday that I uh, had to cancel that game, yeah? Q ninety two net. That was hoop soup and the boop here on Q ninety two point nine. Mm, mm, mm. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? I guess you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm just got to deepen it up. This is a pretty bold jump, not going to lie. Performing surgery over here.
I keep adding more yellow oxide, <coughs> hoping something bold is there. And I think I just jumped the line and added too much. It'll be in the painting, but not right here yet. All in good time, yo. Dude, Cindy Lauper, True Colors. I am oh, I'm cool, bro. I mean, the song's got a good message, don't get me wrong. It's just old hat, you know? For anybody who's listening to it, first of all, no one new is listening to it, and it's rare. But they'll find it either way. There doesn't need to be a radio station dedicated to <laughs> playing music like this. I guess there does. There is one, right?
ten years ago, said, Some of you keep thinking, how did you learn and grow? Some of you ten years ago, said, Bless you. <laughs> What's up, Junior? Welcome, bud. No smudge. How are you, bud? In my garden? She grows fruitful. How you been, man? Yeah, so far so good, bro. I, uh, yesterday I spent all day rearranging, kind of like getting a bunch of my junk out of the gallery. It was, I noticed, was taking up a lot of people's time. They would walk in the store and look at all my trash. And then it wasn't really trash. It was stuff that I could have sold, but like staplers and office supply stuff, telephones, Random things, I guess I wanted them to look at at first, but then after a while, it's just, there's no point. So, uh, good news, got it all out, set up my prints over there in the window. Uh, and the whole store is just full of my art, and it's wonderful. So I feel real good. I need to make money. I know that. I bought a flag. And... There's a whole lot of cake. Now it's all about it's all about when you come into here, you gotta have the experience of like cleanliness and openness. I got rid of the train set that I was working on. What is up, Vodder Racing? Welcome. Are we throwing in the land color today? Oof. Uh, just the biggest, the big black and white one is uh, Ben Lilly Trailhead, which is close to here. Um, but no, I haven't gone through town and done any plan air painting, you know, sat and painted a building or whatever. I have plenty of historical references literally across the street. I was kind of planning to do that, but... <coughs> Maybe that would be exclusive. I'm really trying to work out Patreon, boys. I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm trying to give something that's extra and something that's worth. So it's difficult. I don't want to just, you know, do some thing. Even though I watch video game guys, and they've just got hundreds of Patreon. <laughs> just like, gosh. So, nevertheless, I, I'm thinking of what to do that would be extra or exclusive or first at bat, you know. You know, I don't know if, it, I think exclusivity is uh, often 
important, but I have to have then two genres of that. So if I do plein air painting, which is just going out on my bike and painting what I see around me, I have to have two different versions. So, you know, I'll work it out. I'm at a, I'm at a crossroads in my brain pan. It's hard, yo, because I really want to provide something worth And I think that's important to artists especially. I think uh, throughout history, that's literally how we got all the art done. So, you know, when it comes to people supporting artists, it's a real thing. But I want to provide something that's extra. Like when I go out to the Gila Cliff dwellings and and bring cameras and set up and paint there and spend the whole day and picnic essentially picnic with paints you know and just sit there and film it and and paint it it's uh it's a little different than taking a picture and trying to grasp that moment from the picture and i want to provide something extra anyway i talk about it a lot because it's always on my mind um doesn't matter. I'm not doing much about it. See? That's good. It's a pretty good idea. Yeah, things like that. I like that. Anyway, doesn't matter. What does matter is how my store looks. And it's wonderful. I'm super stoked. I moved all the tables out of here. It's just open. There's people that you could just move around in here. Yeah. I don't know what you said to me. Yeah. For real. That's what that's what makes me like a little envious or or you know. It, it strikes that uh that sin in me. And um yeah. I gotta let it go. Be like, you know, when I was a kid walking to school three miles uphill both ways in the snow you know but it was a three mile walk and um just too short to take a bus just too long not to do it but i used to always think of like people who would be driving in their car I'd be like man i need a i need to be driving in a car and it's, you know you got to learn not to think about how come how come they and not me you know Glitter World, what's happening? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Let's get back to painting. Oh, yeah. Starting to look like planets. A planet. It's got land mass. It's a good idea too. Like So that just gener that just means I need a better computer out here. And that's what I'm trying to do is build my other two Frankensteins heavy so that I can bring the guts out of those guys and put it out here in the front and then I can do regular X split streaming or OBS once again and not work with Adobe Flash Player. So, you know, I'm in a bind. <laughs> it's what it is. It's how it goes. Hmm. 
My brain just broke. Okay, back to it. Yeah, well, he said, thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate you all. We're making land masses. I'm just kind of bouncing around because I'm using different shades of yellow okra with white. I'm going to. It's so weird to follow these different shades and then it just creates like, you know, shapes in the clouds. I think I need a little bit um, burnt sienna. I keep trying to reach a darker and I just make it more yellow, which is okay, but I can only use that sparingly at the moment. So let's try a little burnt sienna. I always like to try my colors out on the edges. You know, away from the public's eye. When you when you look at a painting, it's very rare or seldom that we investigate the whole thing and see the edges even. <clears throat> like try to imagine, like everyone's seen the Mona Lisa plenty of times, yeah? Now try to imagine just the edges or the top corner, or the bottom corner. What is it? Is it just the color? A smush mush of color? I can't, I don't even know. But anyway, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> we <We've>, uh, <laughs> so, I guess it's rightfully so that I failed art history in college four times. Three times. But I, 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 you know, one of my favorite classes ever. Wow. 
Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a rainbow down here. You know, a sand rainbow. Okay, I'm confident. I'm confident about the uh, burnt sienna inclusion into the mix. Oh, you son of a... Yeah, just a smish mush. Oh, did you look it up? Because that's cool. I'm guessing it's a dark green, a dark gray green in the bottom right, uh, yellowish top right. Top left, um, yellow, green, maybe, kind of mixture, maybe like a, a scape, a, some, some sort of functional scape on the left-hand side. Um, and bottom left, um, back to the gray, green. That's just my own thought about it. I don't know. We're going to connect whatever I just did there with some more yellow oxide and white. Land mass. I know that looks shocking online, but Still rock and roll to me.
looking good. We're pulling in some color. She's looking fi mighty fine. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Really want to thank everyone for being here. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments. Also, uh, I priced everything in the store. Now that next time someone comes in and asks how much something is, we don't have to all figure it out together. I didn't feel good about that, you know? Yeah, no, they're not visible yet, but every one of my prices for originals and then prints. And then I have the, I have prints from pre-pandemic prints. And those, uh, I bought the other prints recently, I mean, you know, within the past year. And that's post-pandemic prices, and it's quite a bit different. So I can do two things. I can, you know, cover up the old price of 40 and put on the new price of 70 because I guess inks are out of control. Anyway, um, or just sell the old ones at 40 because... That's, you know, I was making profit on them then. Probably not enough, though. I don't know. I like to be brutally honest, and that often kicks me in the foot. Just me saying I like to be brutally honest makes me think I'm not being brutally honest. Uh -huh. The moment somebody says it, I'm like, uh-oh, even me. So we got a landmass here, a little one there, a little one here. We're going to pull in there, up here. It's pretty much going to cover all the greens. I'm just trying to decide where to pull in. from you to take love you given oh yeah i have some cards little white cards that are just blank I will, you know, figure out a nice way to display them. 
Well, my my epic idea is to have um, a QR code next to each painting as well, so you could take your phone and then punch in that QR code, and then boom, sends you to the actual video of that painting, and then you can see that painting, the price of the painting. Oh, that could be a good thing too. And it's it links to my Patreon. That, that's where those painting videos are, you know. Maybe that's a good idea. Like the complete, full, start to finish videos. That's a good idea. See, that's worth something. That's like, I just I already wasted 36 hours in editing that one. And then I got to start all over. So that's, that's added added torture in itself that's worth that's worth some money Hello, future buyer of this painting. Who that? Who this? Oh, so now I'm gonna have to find that one clip amongst this one day within the first hour or whatever of streaming, and then I'll, I'll slow. It'll be all high speed, and then I'll slow down to hello, the future owner of this painting. Dude, that's funny. Uh, can we get a, a mark on the time, please? Boom. I could have a sign that I hang up and then I hold up so that the camera always reads it. Yeah, 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 something, something, something always the same. use straight yellow I'm mixing it in that is I'm not using straight yellow That's, that would be crazy Papa, don't preach. See, sometimes I can I can get behind a little Billy Joel or whatever, you know, and be like, okay, 
I get it. I remember junior high school. Papa don't preach. Gonna make me go have some tobacco. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta have a, a timeout, everybody. Oh, perfect timing. Hello, hello, welcome. How are you, brother? I'm well. Good. Welcome to my studio. You're welcome to ring in your pup. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to turn the mic off. Boss, thank you very much. See you. Thank you. You too. All right, I'm back, guys. That right, guy was lovely. Cool guy. Everyone wants me to do cards, and I'm just pinched for you know cash. So I'm like, yeah, in due time, man. I'm 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 building a whole life here. I'll get to my cards. He's like the third or fourth person in a month who's like, you need cards. Like, your paintings on cards. Because, you know, they just want to have, they just want to make a $5 sale. 
they want to make a five dollar purchase not a twenty dollar purchase You know, at the Ferrari dealership, they just they, they should just have like postcards of Ferraris so you can go in there and buy that. That guy was super legit, very kind. There's some good people here in town, you know. At any given moment when I feel scared about what I'm doing on these paintings, because it's it's constantly um, a question to be, am I doing the right thing? Um, but when I look around and I see every example of these paintings and they're all so different, yet they're all exactly the same, that's loosening me up, you know, every time I look around. I can be like, yeah, I can just, I can throw together this. It doesn't matter what it looks like. If it's going to be the same, someone might be like, wow, what a color combination, you know, or whatever it is. Oh, it looks like the earth from space, you know, stuff like that. And it's all about the balance. You get the right balance, you get the right balance, you get the right balance, and then it all just kind of flows together, equalizing itself out. Man, remember when I was complaining about Papa don't preach? Um, he turned it all off. There's no way he heard me. He's literally across the street and and half a block down. Um I still am going to take a break. It was really nice talking to that guy. Let's put up the Be Right Back sign. And I'm going to go sit in the sunshine because it's co -co -co cold in here.
Nathan said, Who should I stop the deal at the end first? back. All right. Let's keep going. Man, I don't know if you all have birds chirping where you're at. Birds are nice here. Space's agenda for the evening.
Well, when I'm done here, I think it's going to be too windy to go play Frisbee golf again. So no disc golf once again. We're trying out this new course here in town. Or new to me, new to us. Uh, so we'll probably wait on that. And it'll be 5 o'clock when I close up the gallery. Then what do I do? I cook dinner. Cook me up some grub. And then watch a little something while I eat. Then I've been thinking about playing some seven days. But I'm just, when are they doing the update? Yeah, that's true. Birds are great when you're not sleeping. They're pretty uneventful. Uh, tonight, let's see, uh, tonight I'm going to cook up some pork chops. I have to finish off the pack of pork chops. So we're going to go pork chops, rice, uh, rice pilaf, you know, and then we'll do asparagus. Yum. <laughs> you have to smoke weed if you're going to be out here on the disc golf course, y'all. I mean, look, I used to make fun of people who played disc golf just as much as the next guy. But then you get out there and you start playing and you're just running around, you're laughing, you're, you're breathing. It's a, it's a beautiful time. So there's really nothing wrong with a beautiful time, I suppose. Yeah, all in all, for any golf, uh, I would recommend even a little bit of mushrooms. It's uh, it could be a a little bit though. Oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Frisbee is a golf ball, and essentially w you throw into baskets, and then there's a, a there's a nine hole that we play that's really close to my house here, and then the eighteen hole is. Again, seven minutes away. Yes, yeah, so, so much fun. I mean, you know, it's just really, you're getting outside. It's good for your knees. It's good for your lungs. It's good for your just your laughing bone. It's good for everything. And, you know, if you're smart, you bring your vaporizer. Let me go get mine. Like that, it's a done deal.
here's something cool. I met a guy here in town. I was out doing my morning civil servant duties, just picking up the trash. And then he came over and introduced himself because he's just, you know, he sees me out there every day. And I was like, I just like getting stoned and walking around, you know. Might as well pick up trash while I'm doing that. And um, and then I told him where my art gallery was. And he's like, oh, I didn't recognize you without your painting get up on. So he has seen me before here. And then he says uh, he walks home at night from work and he stops by the front because i have the lights on dim in here and check this out that he said my paintings have affected his dreams what that's crazy cool and in a good way i'm guessing he didn't you know but i thought that was wonderful and just outright cool. Yeah, how do you know I'm not? I love it. Yeah. Yo, you, you, yeah. I was thinking of doing that too, just for fun. Just having little snippets of like, like trips that I've had. There's so many and they all have such interesting, you know, parts to them. From shrooming and going to a mission with my girlfriend and then re I mean this mission is beautiful and it's out here in the desert in San Javier mission is what it's called uh, X-A-V-I-E-R if you're looking it up uh, San Xavier yeah anyway San Javier mission and um, inside of it it's purely murals and they're old old murals but every everything is painted every everything everything is painted anyway so I'm like, hey, I got a good idea. We should go out to this church. It's really cool. We should go shroom and stuff. We go out there, and when we realize it's on a Sunday during services. And so then we're like, all right. So we go inside, and we sit down, and it's a dark kind of church, you know. And at first, it's very kind of oppressive, and I think I might have eaten too many. And I was a young man at the time. And... Um, <laughs> But then after about five minutes, I remember just feeling, oh, yeah. And then just just an overwhelming flood of, like, acceptance and all of this beautifulness of that, that can occur, you know, occurred. And it was great. And then you walk around. So then you, you can get up, and as everyone does, and they walk around this tomb essentially but it's a carving of the saint who is about this this mission has a saint you know and so there's this like dead body essentially but it's a wood carving inside this glass coffin and you walk around it and it was such a trip 
Like that alone was quite the adventure. You know, I could back that up with some animations and things like that and make it a fun little a fun little quip, fun little video. Video. Heck, that stuff can get out of hand. What I always did, um, and I liked it, this was before microdosing was a thing, but uh, I didn't even know what to call it. I just ground it up, and, and I ground up some coffee with it. So just a couple beans of coffee with like an eighth of mushrooms or whatever, and I used a coffee grinder, zing, 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 and then I'd fill up gel caps, and i just fill them all up equally, you know, just half the cap, and then you put the other half on, and you're done. So then you just test them out. You throw in one, and you just walk around and have a good day. Turns things up a little bit. Throw in two, three, four, you know. You got like 28 caps that you, that you just filled up. So it's, you know, it's days of testing, and then, and then you find a nice little zone. Because then you're kind of including all the organisms and all the spores together into one mix, as opposed to one, one mushroom can be purely potent and one could you know it's variables yeah When we were done with that church visit, like we're out in the middle of the desert, right? And so it's a summertime. I remember that thunderstorms and we're like, let's go chase some thunderstorms in my car, you know, and just get out in the desert and just watch them go by. It's crazy, cool, fun time. Uh, somewhat dangerous, but anyway. Uh, so we go out into the desert and I remember <laughs> we see the wee 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 the the flashing lights way off in the distance, right? And we're like, Oh shit, it's an ambulance and so I'm like, should I pull over? And they're like, I don't know. I can't can't tell. It's like way, way off in the distance. And then sooner or later we both agree, we're like, let's just I'm gonna pull over. So I pull over and we're just sitting there on the side of the road, Truman, and <laughs> and we're waiting on this flashing lights that seemed to take years to show up, but they finally woo boo 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 right past us goes the ambulance. But it was minutes. It seemed like we could see way too far down the road, essentially. And with no depth perception, yeah, we were sitting there for a hot minute. And it's funny, too, because no other cars were passing us. It's like no one was on this road, yeah? So we couldn't even judge. Couldn't even, like, you know, trail behind someone and figure it out. <laughs> Land ho I'm liking this. I'm liking the pieces I'm putting in. Maybe a little bit up here. That's probably gonna be a little bit more clouds up there. I gotta shed this all in here.
So you know my dinner plans. What are you guys? What are you doing right now? It's got to be supper time or past supper time for you all over in UK. Oh snap, you can hear it? That is super cool. A word. All right, you've been taking a break. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> that was mostly for my buddy who, who was yelling at me about it. Because uh, when he was like, you're on me. And then I didn't react quick enough for him. So, therefore, I was at fault when he died. But as I told him, when I peeked my head out, there were two players, which seemed like between him and me, those two players were the people he, w he was talking about. Maybe, maybe not. Because I blew up Bacatown and then shot at that one guy until uh, he, I chased him. And then that's where I, I knew I could have made a mistake by letting Antoine hang out by himself and all. But all in all, I don't think I was truly at fault. I came, uh, I came on cautiously, and, you know, uh, I, I dealt with the two people that weren't him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That was a good one. No, definitely not the same guy. Um, I call this guy Antoine Merriweather just because, just because. Uh, he's a friend of mine, used to be an employee of mine at Space Smoke Shop, um, and the only human I know capable that from my previous lives of doing stuff who is online playing video games. So I hook up with him and play video games with him. Uh, he has, he's got his good days and his bad days like we all do. I think I just rubbed him up on one of his bad days that day, but he was like 
he's like, prove it. So I was like, I told him, I was like, I'll throw up a YouTube video, bro. I got nothing to lose. It's just, you know, more views, whatever. And uh, so I did. I threw up that in a silly short that made zero sense. But um, nevertheless, he has a chance to see it, and he can see what I what I saw. He can see what I did. Yeah. I don't play. <laughs> like, okay, so here's the deal. Here's me playing video games. Anthony calls me up and he's like, hey, how your hands doing? And then that means, are they, have they been hit by hammers? Because, you know, I'm old and shit. And so sometimes, I even play Rocket League as Grandpa Hammer Hand sometimes. Because it's just funny that, you know, I suck at video games sometimes so bad. And sometimes I'm pretty good. Uh, so it's a, it's a give and take. Uh, but when Warzone tried to kill me and give me a heart attack just about, I gave it up for like months, right? And then recently... He's just been calling me and been like, hey, let's play some Warzone. And then, then we play some Rocket League. So I don't really play Warzone. I only play if someone says, hey, let's play some Warzone. And I'm like, uh, okay, if I'm not cooking dinner, if I'm not doing something. Yeah. I mean, that's a cool idea, I guess. But I'm... <laughs> Why would you want to carry my old ass? I mean, it's fun to hang out. That's cool, too. I like that. I like that idea. But shit, I do that for free. Hey. If you ever want a war zone, you just got to, I don't know. How does Anthony contact me? Through Facebook Messenger or he texts me my phone through my phone? I mean, I'd be down. Like, I play with Pickle Mush. He's in Australia. I, I play on your time, on your server. It'll be fun. Yeah, but that's just feet. Feet and a whole lot of dirt. Terrible. This is a family show. <laughs> At least I think. Ah, oh, shit. I stepped on his joke. <sighs> it's too good not to step on. With your feet. No, but thank you for the ideas. Uh... I want to I want a way for you guys to make money in your side hustle. I need someone who knows their way around social media. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm so out of the game. But I have the ability to sell prints. I have the ability to make other people money by selling my prints. Now, I don't know. There's all kinds of stupid, like, Etsy's and crazy stupid things. And I generally don't have time for it. 
I don't want to change the game. How cool would it be if... I don't even know. I also want to invest in my own hats and t-shirts and things like that so I don't sell Chinese hats and t-shirts. So I got a lot on my plate. Oh sure, if you if you have, it's probably because she has to. And I don't think anyone's choosing to do that one. Um, and of course, she's supported heartily because that's amazing. It's an amazing talent, and she she stuck with it through a lot of hardships. I'm sure. It's a good new camera angle too, right? I'm not in the way of the camera at any given point. I'm just off to the side a little bit. You can also get a Pablo Picasso for like 60 bucks. This is the one artist in the world who is just going around trading people's cigarettes and whatever he needed at the moment for a sketch. And, you know, you just get a stupid little sketch like this, and it could be on a, like a back of a receipt or a, or a napkin. But, yeah, he's got plenty of those out there. And he's got some very expensive pieces out there. But, of course, post-mortem is when a body of work generally gets discovered. You know? Whew. I tell you, some of those I'm holding my breath, like I say every time, but it's stressful. Well, in this career that I've chosen, you do not get admiration in your field until you have gray hair. Now, you don't start with gray hair. You start with young hair, and you work on your career, career, career. Once you hit that gray field is when the potential is there for you to be in the, in the mix. Now, a lot of people who are artists or definitely introverts or 
uh, weird little creatures as we can be. And uh, sometimes we just keep it locked up. I know a guy, I know a real artist also who, this guy, hang on. I don't have his write-up, but I used to have his write-up. Uh, this guy is epic, and all of his work sits inside of this studio room, filled. Okay, let's say let's say the room's twelve by sixteen. There is a cot for sleeping. There is a mini refrigerator and a hot plate. Okay, no sink. So he, I don't know, every other at cubic feet, floor to almost ceiling, is stacked with paintings. You can only walk through thousands of paintings in one room by one artist who is revered and, and, and well-known in the art community. But he's so goofy that even the art community has a hard time wrangling him in, right? And so he's such a wild man that he all he can do is produce, 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 nothing but art all the time. And then he's just going to wait for his death, and he'll be shown in every museum you can think of. He's been shown in museums. He's a qualified artist. What a talent. Another qualified artist I know who lives in Washington, and this guy, the most epic painting. You want to see the most epic paintings? Wow. Wow. It kind of encourages me to do this line work because his is more precise and so interesting anyway he was a framer forever i don't know what he's doing now i don't even know if he's still alive i hope he is he what he would do every year that he was a part of a guild of artists and they would get together and once a year they would all paint one painting just for this event and every year they would pick some sort of, you know, benefit. And they would then raffle their paintings off. These are all prominent artists of the world. He would get, like, zero money for it because it was all 100% donatable. But, like, quarter of a million dollars for his paintings. I don't think he would get that normally. He lived a life of interesting and drugs and wonderment and, and loveliness, you know. He would trade his paintings for kilos back in the day. And that's how he would produce more paintings. Um, so it was an interesting lifestyle choice for him. And But he, as an older artist, was able to be a part of like art guilds and communities of, of people who respected his work. So I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really didn't, I didn't, you know, I was going to name them and everything, but then I started giving intricate Thing. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll leave it out. But yeah, Patrick, that works. Um, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're putting the land in. Land. Filling the land in. The Michael Landon. How we all doing today?
Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. We're just here painting away. Making more substance happen with this painting. It is super ironic that this that this elderly I, I, this crazy guy I know from Tucson who was like such a talented artist and one of my jobs that he wanted me to do was contact the princess of Qatar and this was before all the Qatar shit was happening like a couple years ago but he knew that she had opened up museums and all over the place that was uh, a benefit to women in her culture. It's a difficult thing to be a woman. So um, one of my jobs was to figure out how to contact her. Now, it seems so absurd and so crazy. And maybe it was because I never knew how. I never knew how. Come on. What are we talking about here? But that is the kind of stuff he would do, you know. But one day when he's done, someone's going to go through that stuff and they're going to be there. You know, you'll see his work out on Christie's. Funny to figure out where the land is ending. If you don't draw what's an abstract world to you, a feeling in your work, no one else could be having it. Yeah, but I mean, the artist is mostly the person keeping themselves back. You know? They're the only ones keeping themselves back. In in my store, I used to put up Michael Pasqua, that's this guy's name. I used to put up his paintings in my smoke shop. Now, I had s one side of the store had about $70,000 worth of glass on one side. On the other side was a like a punk rock stage, but the stage was surrounded by the most high-end art you could possibly like shake a stick at you'd be looking at it and so much is going on in it and yeah it's some sometimes it's painted on a door or painted on a piece of what seemed like a boat but epic stuff like i have one let me see if i can grab it It's screwed. Hang on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It, I'm so proud of this guy, and his work. Give me a second. This is the one thing he did. He scratched it. This is a tray. This is a tray that you would serve nachos on in a bar. I'm sure he stole it. <laughs> but he then put paint on it 
and then scratched that off. I mean, soak that up for a second, would you? It's just ridiculous. Uh, and this has such drama, such such character. That is epic. I used to, I, I still have his write-up that we hung framed in my store. He was taught by nuns. He was, he had such an interesting life backstory, you know, to him, to where you're like, wait, what? And then what? <laughs> you know? Quite the dude. I hope to share that kind of enthusiasm in my life for other people because they have definitely, when it comes to Patrick or Michael Pasqua or uh, Robert Bernie or all, all these artists that I know in my life, it's they're they're all very inspirational in their very own way, you know? Yeah, yeah, Bob Ross. But I didn't know Bob Ross. So I have no real connection to that other than, you know, PBS. So once I dictate where all the land is going, then we can go and then we clouds and then we'll finish off with clouds. And uh, yeah, I can work on this. And then bingo, bango.
How we all doing? We chilling? goes the radio back on. Must have been lunchtime for him. I'm liking this. I am liking this a lot. It's almost like some of the light blue lines is a nice guide. I, I spent, I, I split the difference between the oranges, say, and the tans to, and then now I'm coming through and splitting it with this light. And mwah, 
just brightens everything up, you know, and the more layers we put, the more it'll be natural, and soon enough, it'll be a Earth from space painting, or planet from space, I don't know what planet, Earth-like planet from space. Here's what I gotta do. I think it's peanut butter time. Peanut butter sandwich time. Peanut butter sandwich time. I'm just gonna go slap some peanut butter on a couple pieces of bread and uh, we'll come back back and we'll keep going. Sandwich sushi. Yeah, it's just peanut butter. Uh, I got some uh, honey, local honey in my fridge. But I uh, put a bunch of mushrooms in it a long time ago, a couple years ago. And there's no way to enjoy a peanut butter and honey sandwich without blowing my mind open. <laughs> that one I might have, you know... Made a mistake on. Because I got old. You know, I got, I got older, and I had these collections of mushrooms for years. I had, oh my God, so many different kinds. And one day I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take them all, and I just ground them all up, as usual. Uh, but this time I stuck it in honey. And the only reason... This honey lasts forever. Honey in a properly cured cannabis can last forever. Imagine that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it might have been in there for two, probably two years, maybe longer. I used to like heat them up and 
but then I just kept trying it. And then one night, it just broke me. I was like, well, I think I tried too much. As a matter of fact, here, I'll show you something. I got a painting. And I was thinking about this painting. Oops, sorry. So what this is supposed to be, this is just the start of the geometry that was in my brain. And then what I'm supposed to do with this is we can start with this color. So, you got to understand, each of these squares will in, will have an intricate design in each, each square will have an intricate design, and I got to do each one separately, and they're going to have uh, um, very neon colors, like a very... Uh, like um, like an Aztec thing. But hang on, there's more. This is cool because I was thinking about this the other day, this painting. So down below, down here, like this is the beam. This goes across the whole top of the building, okay? So essentially, God, I don't want to. I don't want to do much. I want, I want to do just enough. Let's use a pencil. Let's use a pencil and get loose, shall we? So right here is a corner, right? This is a corner of a building. So we'll have a, we'll have a building come down. Now this corner is an ease. It eaves out. So it's a big block, a big concrete block, Dad, right? Can you help me make a right off the pink square that So. So yeah, so this is the this is you're looking at the like a header and it goes over the whole building, all right? And so then back here there's there's a there's a wall, but but this corner doesn't exactly say there's the there's the the, the wall in the back. Let's if we go back in the same angle, it can be somewhere. It doesn't have to line up with this. It can't line up with that as a matter of fact. So it has to be off. So here we'll come down with that right there, but but this is where it gets bizarro because all of this goes all the way down, right? So we just got to keep that going. This one uh, now, so up here we're looking at it a worm's eye, so we're looking up, but here we're looking at a bird's eye. <laughs> so all this is happening with your eyes closed, you see, and so you're looking at this ancient building, and this ancient building is carved on all sides. Every 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 like like this is a big block, and it's all carved, and then underneath it's carved. So up here you'd see carving from underneath, right? All neon, and but th then down here. Carved, carved. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, that, that's interesting in itself. That it looks like something totally different. I, I'm I'm seeing something very close, some a building, and this building is very textured with giant carvings and and uh, you know, circles, snake. Beasts, horned beasts, whatever, whatever, whatever you would see on an Aztec, you know, uh, crazy guys. Uh, all that stuff's carved in, but it's all glowing from the inside. And so, whatever this painting is, it's glowing from the inside of the rock. And then here, see, I can't, I can't quite figure out 
and I'll probably have to just take a little teaspoon or something one night and just close my eyes and meditate on this a little bit more. But the difficulty is figuring out this wall down here because what it seemed like to me in my mind was that let's say there was a there was this wall here all of this was probably the same but there seemed to be like a, a, a an area you can go so this wall back here is pushed back so you'd have to walk through like there's a door there that we all can't quite see you know that kind of thing um, so this is a beginning of a painting that someday we all might just do it together. Or I'll just do it privately, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Whatever keeps the blood flowing, you know? That was fun. I didn't I didn't keep it. Anyways, immediately after throwing it away, I found all my other drawings. So, I'll keep them from now on, but I knew I was kind of going to throw that one away. Kind of had it in me. Yeah, we're probably going to do that again Saturday. Uh, feel free to email me, Shane at space.glass. Email me a line. Uh, just one line on a piece of paper. Take a picture of it, fax it, whatever you got to do. Send it to me. We'll, we'll start with that line. Or I'll just freelance it like I've been doing, which I enjoy doing. It kind of just, it's a loosey goosey kind of shading technique exercise, and we get to hang out with everyone, you know? It's a fun day. And that video gets a lot of pretty good, I think the thumbnail's good, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Nice, yeah. And what I and in the past it's just been like literally someone has done a a scribble and then they just send me that and then I, I try to make something out of it. Yeah, nice. That's fun. What a great idea. Can I do that Saturday? Whatever you send me and I just like 
connect one end or the other end and then I just go and we see what we can do. Sounds so fun. And then we'll shade it. <laughs> Jim just sent me a request. He said, Send me your email and I would love to send you it. You could also share that on my Discord. There's a promotion place on there for people. For that matter, you could send it via Discord, your new sketch for Saturday. Just wrapping, I'm wrapping the length of the land. What up, Drunk? What's up, Drunk? Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching my other videos earlier and commenting on them. I appreciate that as well. <laughs> Fucking DJ talk makes me want to DJ walk.
All right, sounds like fun. Well, I certainly appreciate it. I guess it's kind of worth it, you know, I was just sitting there thinking, you know, not many people have shown up in my store today, except for one man who was possibly the nicest man I've ever met. <laughs> so, I, you know, you just, you just got to take a little bit with this, a little bit with that, you know what I mean? Don't worry about volume so much as content, you know what I mean? Uh, give me a second. Can I take a break, people? I've been here a little bit. Two and a half hours in. It's looking like a planetary thing. We're getting the color in. And uh, then the clouds will come. We'll probably have to work on a little bit more of the color tomorrow. I'm not leaving. I just want to kind of take a break. Yeah, thank you. Drunk knows what's up, dude. Let's get fun with it. Just give me five minutes. Stall, doing my thing. Yeah. Uh, no, no, we're not. I'm live eating also. 
coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I can't wait to get a wheel. I'll play dirt again. Oh, it'd be so much fun. You know, I'll, I'll do all the racing games. Yeah, I literally, uh, I, yeah, I don't even know why I still own it because, well, I guess I had a wheel once, but it was an Xbox shitty wheel, you know, and it was a lot of fun, but I just gave it away to a friend of mine because I was like, I'm not going to use this. It's not as real legit, you know, so, uh, yeah, if I sell that big painting, I want to set up with the uh, not only the the wheel, but the VR and the seat you sit in, where it goes front, back, left, right, and so you just like you can play flying games and you think you're flying, you know, super Disney. Get nuts with it, get two helmets, and then charge people money to sit in my gallery and fucking play flying games. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what it was, but yeah, I had the wheel for Xbox. I don't think it was the Ferrari one. But that was a big that was a big thing for me in two thousand and four. Yeah, but the coolest arcade with only one game costs eight dollars. <laughs> Sit in this, put this on, and then you'll give me another eight dollars when you're done. Because you're gonna want to do it again. <laughs> I once played a, vi a video game in Chicago that cost eight bucks to play, and it was an epic driving game. Simulated, you're in a car, three screens. You had to take a class before you even like got out there because you wouldn't be able to drive properly. It has so much power. But yeah, super realistic, super crazy. Like sitting in a NASCAR, yo, crazy. Side hustle. Side hustle. Hell yeah, pay back all that money, uh, you know, get that paint back, paint money back. <laughs> but that'd be great. That would be so much, like, stupid fun. Flying a helicopter, planes, like, feeling it, though, feeling the, the Gs. What? Your brain just is feeling complicated. Oh yeah, they got a new one. It's like four grand. 
it's it's all contained, you know, as opposed to like the six axis arm or the three axis arm, which I've investigated quite a bit into. Um, those are great too, but it's a lot more hydraulics, you know. This is a literal motor chair that spins one way, X and Y, Z, uh, all all the ways, you know. So between that and your brain, boom. That's why I need to sell that painting to, to afford all this craziness. Big time. I'm sure that's what it's designed for initially, and then everything else is just win-win when it comes to putting a wheel on there, uh, you know, the, the, the racing games, the dirt, the A1, Corsetta courses, you know, all that jazz. Ah, you a mom? You get to get a free gift and we're going to Ace Hardware this weekend. What a deal. They're like, is your husband not getting you anything? Have your kids forgotten all about you? Come on into Ace. We'll get you a plant. Here's some dish gloves. Oh, terrible. That's just not right. Sorry, I'm just listening to the commercials on the radio that the neighbor's playing. So, I'm learning.
explain that. Said, don't worry about me. Thank God you can play. Catch him by the play and play. Thanks for having me out. Cheers. Thank you very much, bud. Enjoy your afternoon, evening.
Hey, y'all still with me? Okay. I think a solid three hours is a pretty good stream. Uh, what do you guys think? I appreciate you all for being here. Whew. Oh, my feet. But yeah, the earth painting is happening, you know? I like it. Let's see, which is the right side up? I think that way. I think so. I like the way it travels up and to the right. But uh, yeah. Looks like we got to put a little bit more land into it, but what I'm going to probably do is come through with some clouds because that's going to be cool because it's going to be just white. And uh, we'll work on the clouds tomorrow, and then we'll go from there. We'll make it happen. Thank you for hanging with me. Boomer League, thank you. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's looking fantastic. It's different, you know? It's It's got some color. See what I, uh, here, let me zoom out. Roop, roop. That's probably the best. So I, I worked out, cleaned out some of this stuff. See, there's no more um, case that was right there. That's gone. What? That's crazy. And then I got paintings, whoops, on the front window there. And then we'll spin it around this way again. And let's come over to this side. Oh, there's that table. Had to go somewhere. It's got all my paintings that I'm working on on it. And then oh, I'm stretching the cable. Come on, cable. And then let's go over to here. Oh, look at this. Look at that little corner. So those are all my prints all up in the window, all looking sharp. All the ones for sale down there in tubes below, looking good, eh? I'm pretty proud of that. I spent all day yesterday kind of just doing that jazz, you know? And it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to be here today, to be, you know, meeting people, hanging out, doing cool stuff. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for hanging with me. Good times. Watching the traffic. All three cars. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time, yeah?